Hello out there, you YouTubers out there, Christ Cyberspace land. Happy Rosh Hashanah to you today. It's Jewish High Holy Days. It's the Jewish New Year. God bless you. I'm going to read out God's Holy Word here today. In chapter 2 of Joel, Blow ye the trumpet in Zion, and sound alarm in my holy mountain. Let all the inhabitants of the land tremble, for the day of the Lord cometh, for it is nigh at hand. Praise your holy name. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Rosh Hashanah. Today, my wife, me and Betty, Cully, it's morning. A loss of a beloved friend. Her name was Ruby Wright. She's in this picture here. She was 92 years old. We're going to her funeral tomorrow. She's in this picture here with uh, Ray Lynn Barter. That was her great grandchild. Uh, and Ruby was a blessing here. I've known Ruby over uh, uh, 13 years. And that woman helped me more than even. Betty in Pinkville, last 13 years, she used to be my neighbor. She was a good Samaritan. Ruby used to be married to Harry Wright, was her husband. He was a pastor for probably 50 years, and she was a good pastor wife. Ruby was a good mother. She was a, she was a good mother, and Ruby was a, loved her children, and she loved all her grandchildren, her great-grandchildren, she loved her uh, daughter, and Ruby Wright. She was a little woman, she was only uh, five foot tall and a uh, hundred pounds, but she was like dynamite. Comes in small packages, she was just like a, a little woman, just like a little bunny rooster. And she come through a lot of different difficulties the last couple of years, but like six months her health really uh, deteriorated quite a bit, but today, me and Betty is mourning, and keep your prayers for Ruby Wright family. Tomorrow is a funeral, and me and Betty, thank Jesus, we got to know her. She was a charter member of uh, Lisa Brother Church here. For eight years, she started it, one of the charter members, and she ended it for eight years at Lisa Brother Church in Pignaville, Illinois, and she was nice to my wife. Betty only knew her two years. I knew her for 13 years. Ruby, she was just like uh, like a little Duracell bunny. She took the lick and she kept on ticking. So today I dedicate this video on G20 New World Order. This is for Ruby up there today. Ruby's up there in heaven with her husband, Harry, running the streets of gold up there on Hallelujah Avenue and worship Jesus in spirit and truth and casting her crowns at Jesus' feet. So pray for me today. Me and Betty be praying for you. Remember Ruby Wright's family. That Ruby was a special blessing from God. And me, Betty, thank you, Jesus, taking her home. It was her time to go. Praise your holy name. What I'm talking about today is going to be the New World Order. And last week, it was a kind of top secret mission. Nobody didn't know nothing about it. It was kind of hidden there behind closed doors in Washington, D.C. They was meeting there with him. IMF and uh, the New World Order, the G20, the Global Goblins were meeting for strategy, and the Global Gurus, the G20, that's the New World Order, 20 nations were meeting in Washington for some order strategy to destroy our sovereignty, United States of America, start one world order government, one global currency, a one world religion, and they was meeting, but I got three letters I want to read today. That uh, God gave to me I'm about the G20 New World Order. The first one is on April the 9th, 2009. This Bible prophecy been fulfilled with a New World Order here in September 2011. The G20 New World Order Global Goblin sold out to the United Nations. The International Monetary Fund is a bank of the United Nations. The International Monetary Fund is going to sell 403 metro tons of gold worth close to 1 million U.S. dollars. The International Monetary Fund will sell the gold to China, Japan, and Russia. China, Japan, and Russia will cash out their U.S. dollars holding for the 
IMF gold. This will bankrupt the U.S. dollar as a reserve currency. The G20 New World Order global gurus want a new global currency in the world, selling out the U.S. dollar for United Nations control of the world. Behind the closed doors of the G20 meeting, lots of things were discussed about the New World Order control of the world that the news media didn't know anything about. The Antichrist appeared at the G20 with his silver tongue, and that was President Obama there, to tell how he could fixed the financial meltdown. The euro, the idol of the new resurrection, Roman Empire, will be the new global currency of choice. Bible prophecy is being fulfilled on the front page of newspapers every day. Make your deposit in the spiritual bank of Jesus soon, because the end is near. The U.S. dollar will be worthless currency and devalued soon. But in God we trust for our future to walk by faith, not by sight. Jesus is the priceless, and the U.S. dollar would be gone with the wind. This was the first uh, Bible prophecy on G20 New World Order on April the 9th, 2009. And here's the second Bible prophecy that I received uh, on August the 1st, 2009 on the G20. Again, his number, second Bible prophecy being fulfilled today in September 2011. The G20 New World Order Global Goblins are having a meeting in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. In September, the G20 New World Order Global Gurus have met in Washington, D.C., London, England, and in September 2009, Pittsburgh will be the place for their plans behind closed doors. The Pittsburgh Steelers is a great football team, but the G20 team will steal our U.S. sovereignty for the New World Order plan to control the world. The G20 knows that the one world government, one world religion, and one world currency will be in place soon. The USA is being socialized, and that is the plan of the G20 leaders to steal our sovereignty and steal our identity as American citizens. The United Nations is the godfather of the G20 New World Order Global Goblins. Our declarations of independence and U.S. Constitution is in danger of being destroyed. There are members in Congress that is pushing the New World Order agenda in the USA. Pray in the name of Jesus for a miracle, for the USA hangs in the balance, for judgment will come if the USA turns its back on the God of Israel. May God and Jesus have mercy on the USA. This is second Bible prophecy on the G20 New World Order that's being fulfilled today, September the 2011. This was given the G20 Bible prophecy here, August the 1st, 2009. Excuse me, I dropped the third letter. I got to get under here and get it. And the third Bible prophecy here on the G20 New World Order was given to me on June the 22nd, 2010. The New World Order. Pharaoh's Obama's pyramid, the G20. The G20 meeting in Toronto, Canada will be hot as a Saturday night pistol. Pharaoh Obama wants China to let their currency rise like a submarine. The Chinese currency is underwater by 40%. In the last two years, it cost 2 million American jobs. China is playing its currency like a yo-yo. China is buying U.S. dollars to prop up their phony currency mirage. Russia and France want a new global reserve currency for the New World Order global gurus. The United Kingdom, France, and Germany wants to tighten their belt on their deficits or their governments will collapse. Pharaoh Obama wants the USA to spend like there is no tomorrow, for he wants the USA to lose their sovereignty and collapse. The God of Israel is saying to Pharaoh Obama, Let my people go free from the debt in the USA. In six months with Pharaoh Obama's New World Order plans, the USA will be bankrupt and the U.S. dollar will lose the reserve currency of the world. What goes on behind closed doors of the G20 New World Order, global goblins will be taxing the global banks to control them. Taxation without representation. This will start a 21st century revolutionary war in the USA. 
for the U.S. people's freedoms are being taken away to make them poor and slaves to the New World Order global pharaohs. Don't tread on me. will be the battle cry in the streets of the USA. Jesus' truth is marching on. This was the third Bible prophecy on G20 New World Order being fulfilled. This was given on June the 22nd, 2010. This is happening today for September 2011. So that's what's on my heart today. And free praying for me and Betty. And I'll give you the Bible prophecy. But if you don't know Jesus Christ, you're your personal Savior. You'll die and go to hell. You got to know Jesus. You can know all the Bible prophecy in the world, but if you don't know Jesus Christ, you will die and go to hell. It's a terrible place. I don't want my worst enemies in hell. Today, this is a special video dedicated to Ruby Wright's life, 92 years for God's glory, and being a charter member of Lisa Brethren Church here at Pinkneyville, Illinois, for eight years, and me knowing her for 13 years, and me and my wife. It's in mourning today. Remember the Ruby Wright's family. She loved her family in Pinkneyville, Illinois. And she's up there in heaven with her husband, Harry Wright, dancing in the streets. A girl on Hallelujah Avenue casting her crowns, her and Harry at Jesus' feet. And today, say this sinner's prayer with me. Ruby wants you people out there in North America, South America, Africa, Europe, Middle East, Far East, accept Jesus Christ as your personal Savior and Messiah. Say this prayer with me. Bow humbly with me. Say this prayer with me. Lord Jesus Christ, I thank you for forgiving me for my sins. Lord Jesus Christ, thank you for saving my soul. Lord Jesus Christ, thank you for eternal life. Lord Jesus Christ, my name's written in the Lamb's Book of Life. Thank you, Lord Jesus. The angels in heaven are rejoicing and flying around there, blowing their trumpets, playing their harps, a new name written in the Lamb's Book of Life. To make front page news in heaven. Maybe not front page news on planet Earth. But in heaven it's front page news. I know Jesus. You're saving many souls today. Let your anointing come down. Your conviction on your heart. Holy Ghost. You put it in Jesus. You saved your soul today. I thank you. Rosh Hashanah. The high Jewish day. We blow the trumpet in Zion. And, and sound your alarm in the holy mount. Jesus you saved your soul today. And the God of Israel we love you today. Bless your Jewish people. Bless your Gentile people. Bless your Christians all around the world. Lord Jesus, we pray today. Amen, amen. You said that prayer. Send me and Betty email. If you said that prayer today, write us. Send us an email. Put a comment on George and Betty's channel and YouTube channel. We thank Jesus Christ for YouTube channel uploading every video. YouTube part of Jesus Christ team here on Christ spiritual cyberspace be praying for me and Betty we love you today and give God all the glory and praise and honor Jesus returning soon and remember Jesus is in control I'm taking I'm blowing the whistle on the G20 New World Order today but the whole wide world's in Jesus hand Jesus is in control not the New World Order the hand is in God and I thank you Jesus for this message I blow the trumpet's dying today. I sound the alarm in a holy mount, mountain, Lord, on Rosh Hashanah. I warn the people about the G20 New World Order. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus.